Welcome to Conference USA Championship Central. I'm Megan Clemente. This past Sunday, it was the finals of the 2013 Men's Tennis Championships in Memphis, Tennessee. The final was a matchup between number one ranked and two-time defending champion Tulsa and number two Memphis. Tulsa made it to the championship round by defeating East Carolina and SMU, while Memphis defeated UAB and Rice. The Tigers got things rolling early as the duo of David O'Hare and Joe Salisbury won their match 8-4. And their teammates Connor Glennon and Cedric Tessutta repeated the feat and put up Memphis 1-0. Tulsa came back and tied it at 1-all when Tulsa's Clifford Marsland won his match. In number six singles action, David O'Hare defeated Tristan Jackson to put the Tigers up 2-1. to one. The Tigers' lead expanded with freshman Lucas Varnick's win in the number three singles match. But the defending champs would not go away as Tulsa's Carlos Bautista earns the victory over David O'Leary. Next, Memphis junior Johnny Grimmel faced Alejandro Espel in a back-and-forth affair he was able to come out on top. The win earned Memphis their first Conference USA Men's Tennis Championship. Head coach Paul Goebel was ecstatic and grateful with his team's big victory. It's just a culmination of so many people uh, supporting us. And that's, you know, it's hard. I can't thank them all. There's people in the community, so much administrative staff, trainers, you know, coaches. Our assistant coaching staff did an unbelievable job. Um, you know, and, and so it's putting all of that hard work by so many people together. And to finish it off and win a championship, I tell you, I can hardly describe the feeling. With the 4-2 victory, Memphis not only won its first Conference USA Men's Tennis Championship, but they also earned the conference's automatic bid to the NCAA Championship. This will be their second appearance in the national tournament. Congratulations to Memphis on its victory, and thank you for watching this edition of Conference USA Championship Central.